What's up, everybody? I'm Walt Brudinger. You are watching Awesomeology today on the show. We've got homemade Wolverine claws, stealing home plate, keep your hands warm when you're downing ice cream, dry erase clock, and deal or no deal fail. Real Coke taste, zero calories. This is Awesomeology. I used to think the ultimate DIY project was creating your own Batmobile, but I was wrong. It's making Wolverine claws like this guy there. That sound, you hear that sound? Awesome. Now, I don't know why he's demoing cardboard boxes slash his parents' carpet. I would have gone with something maybe visually that looked a little cooler, like a watermelon or like take a carrot and throw it up in the air and make baby carrots, you know, like the way Wolverine does. Have you ever seen anyone straight up steal home plate in baseball? It doesn't happen that often, but it did two weeks ago when a dude on the Red Sox stole home against the Yankees. Check it out. Ellsbury at third, leading off in foul territory. And here comes Ellsbury stealing home beside it, and he is safe. He stole home. I know, right? Crazy. If you watch the full video, you get a whole bunch more angles and stuff like that. It's, it's awesome. So you know how they make those sleeves for soda cans and bottles so your hands don't get too cold? Are those really necessary? I mean, sodas get warm pretty quick, and if it's beer... It's not going to be around too long for your hands to get cold. You know when those would really come in handy? Ice cream pints. Yeah, it's about time someone created those sleeves for an ice cream pint. Keeps the product cool, keeps your hands warm. And it's got a built-in magnet so you can slap it up in your fridge so it'll be there the next time you have a breakout. Or the notebook is on TBS. Or, God forbid, both. This is a clock. It tells time. This is your calendar. It tells what you have to do at different times throughout the day. Sounds like these two could be combined, but how? You ready for this? It's genius. A dry erase wall clock. At the beginning of the day, just write in your deadlines and your meetings, and with one glance, you've got it all. Right? If you ever get to be a contestant on Deal or No Deal, I think most people would say you're pretty lucky. In this guy's case, though, they'd be wrong. The first case he picked was the largest number on the board. The second case he picked, second largest number on the board. The third case he picked, yeah, you guessed it, the third largest number on the board. Now, obviously, that wasn't going to continue with the fourth case, but oh, wait, it did. He just knocked off the fourth largest number on the board. I think the guy ended up going home with like $100, which I'm guessing he took straight to the bar. That's it for today. I couldn't really think of a relevant poll question for today, so I went with a random one. If you could travel through time just once, I mean, you get to come back, but, you know, you go somewhere and then come back once. Would you go to the past or to the future? Hmm. Vote and discuss at awesomeology.com slash 69. If you're enjoying Awesomeology, become an insider at awesomeology.com slash insiders. I'll be back Friday with more great stuff. I'm twitter.com slash waltpsu, and this is awesome. Oh.